in my understanding of women who come at the world with a lot of power and a lot of passion at some point they literally poop out in other words that woman might have been full of fire full of ice full of everything that that young man wanted that he felt was nice that he could love that he could get turned on that he could feel but at this point she decided to make a change in her mind that why couldn't she be a trophy wife instead of a treasure in other words, why couldn't she find a man who's abusive emotionally, psychologically, and physically and tolerate him because she's going to inherit his wealth? Or so she thinks. But she's not thinking about how many boys he's got. She's not thinking about her boys. And she's not thinking anymore because he has been psychologically manipulating her as a profiler. And he has lied in order to prevent the man that God has put in place of her late spouse in his life. You see, the whole thing is a play. They stole from him in jail every item he owned. Why would a sheriff's department do that? It is a form of a major abuse of power. So when that man reacts with, stay out of my life, but they keep following, they keep reporting, they keep lying, they keep doing, America suffers, truly suffers, because it means if they'll do that to that young man there, Whose privacy is the issue? He sort of mocks, he sort of taunts, and he just wants to fuck you with it. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, he's literally saying, Who are you to keep touching me, fe my face? Who are you to keep touching my body? Who are you to put your fucking hands up my shirt or down my pants? I'm a man. How fucking dare you? But see, you think he's funny. You think he's so funny that you want to explore his body, and I'm looking at you going, What are you? And who are you? But there are women who give up their joys, who give up their triumphs, who give up the successes God has planned for them so they can be trophies. And he might have said to her long ago, hey, you're not a trophy, you're a treasure. Hey, you're the fortune, and he is never. But you fell hook, line, and sinker for somebody else. And you lied to yourself because you played in and out of that person's life, pissing all over who he wanted for a wife. And you just fucking thought that you're going to get away with this in front of God. And the truth is, today, you might for a few minutes in time. But over the course of time, the fact that that individual is being sexually assaulted, abused, and psychologically amusing you is never going to fly. 